So the infrastructure systems that support modern life, bridges, buildings, every distribution network that provides you with water or gas, all of these, uh, have two challenges today. One of them is that they're aging and they're crumbling and we see it in the news. And the second one is that urban density is increasing so that means that there's more stress put on these systems. Rural densities have stayed very uh, constant over the years whereas uh, urban density is increasing and we just shot past the time that they were both equal and that's going to continue to be a problem. So these two challenges together uh, make it an exciting opportunity for us to address them using another trend that's happening right now, which is information technologies exploding. There's a, a number of sensing devices being deployed in the environment, and there's modern use of artificial intelligence technologies that could also address these, these problems. So my research is generally trying to unlock information that is hidden on data that we're already collecting or that we could be collecting very easily. Uh, so for instance, um, you could think about the meters that are being deployed by your utilities um, in your houses and in all of the buildings. Uh, they're measuring power consumption in some cases or maybe gas consumption. They are being deployed for the purpose of billing, but there's a lot of information that's being captured there that is not unlocked yet. So for instance, if I asked you, when is your refrigerator going to fail? you wouldn't be able to tell me, the utility wouldn't be able to tell me, but using artificial intelligence and using statistical analysis, we can actually predict those things from the measurements that are already being collected. So this data that is out there, I'm just unlocking the potential for the information contained in it. So for some of the research, the impact and the results will come out very soon. In the next year or two, you should be able to see some results. But for some of it, within the next decade. Like for instance, if I were to tell about things that are very close by, we're working with uh, companies in the building control space to figure out how to create an operating system for buildings so that anybody who comes up with an application that they can install in a building, like for instance, figuring out when rooms are unoccupied to decrease lighting and HVAC load, how do you use that app and then deploy it in different buildings without having to reconfigure it? In the same way that, for instance, in your phone, you download one app and the creator of that app only creates it once and then it can deploy it on all, all of the phones. But other things like, for example, figuring out how to understand structural health uh, degradation of bridges using vehicle vibration. That's something that even though we're deploying in limited scale here in the city of Pittsburgh, taking it to the level where we're actually able to pinpoint where the defects are and what the changes are and how to address them, that will take years and maybe a decade. And so the biggest challenge on the horizon for these sets of questions is how do you do this efficiently using the computing hardware that we have right now? So can we come up with ways of uh, making the algorithms for inference more efficient, but also the computing hardware itself? And as we go on into a world where more and more of the computing is sort of distributed, how do you do this in a non-centralized fashion? A lot of the queries that we post today are solved in a centralized uh, server, a centralized computer, but a lot of the applications that we're thinking about in the future are gonna be very distributed. So how do you, how do you address that? That's on the technical side. On the non-technical side, there's a lot of hurdles about deploying these things in real world because of political challenges. Um, and these are, have to do with things like, for instance, standards. Um, when we think about deploying an application in a building that I mentioned earlier, uh, a lot of the challenges are non-technical, like things like, for instance, how do we name individual sensing points in buildings? What's the standard that we should use for that? How do we make it machine readable? So for instance, the Android operating system is one example I can give there. That standardized the interface to all of the underlying hardware. We don't have that for buildings, and that's really a political challenge.